Hey, Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company.com, and I'm talking to uh, to a uh, just a super established and iconic, uh, um, some might say legendary bass player who's been around for quite a while and uh, and just been there in the background, very steady and, and very hearable on many of the songs that uh, you have heard, I will tell you. So, Chuck, um, you are still playing and playing and playing. I mean, I got to tell you, just trying to keep up with you and where you're at <laughs> and find you has not been easy to do. And, and we've, uh, you know, we've had to work really hard just to have this, these few minutes together because you're traveling so much. Um, talk to me about what you're doing these days. And, uh, and you know, I, uh, what is it, session work? Is it live stuff? What, what are you up to? Well, um, uh, it definitely is um, uh, quite interesting. I spend a lot of my, most of my playing time I spend in Europe and in Japan. And that's about maybe two or three trips a year. Huh. I, I had probably up until maybe 10 years ago, you know, stopped being the side musician that plays, you know, a lot of clubs and bars and local stuff. Uh, because after a while, you know, I could leave that for the younger folk. You know, because there's not much money in those kind of gigs. And of course, uh, the society work. Does uh, do a lot more, but for what my load is, you know, I need to go out and play and play in areas uh, like overseas and in Japan, where mm. I really feel that um, the treatment and the way they help artists and bands move from place to place is less strenuous than it is here in this country, and the uh, the audience also too seems to be uh, a bit more appreciative. But uh, I won't say that because the people, everybody's appreciative. Yeah. Or what the music is. And I do, um, you know, some sessions at home with a little Pro Tools setup that I have here. Don't do much of it, but I do some of it for friends uh, to uh, overdub the bass, you know, bass overdubs rather than fly to New York, L.A. Gotcha. And have to deal with uh, airplanes and hotels and stuff like that. It's easier for everybody. Uh, at one time I was doing... Uh, not a whole lot, but a lot of it. And then, of course, it slowed down a little bit because these things do have a learning curve um, that I sometimes don't feel like I really want to go through. <laughs> and uh, right now, you know, you know, working on new pro you know, projects. Just finishing up a project now, uh, a solo CD. So that's basically what I'm doing. You know, I'm keeping myself very busy doing clinics also. Yeah. Um, and so I do keep myself busy, feel Good. very active. I feel like I'm still in my prime. Yeah, well, you, last time I, I heard you speak and play for us a little bit in a seminar over uh, in Frisco, I, I felt the same way. I said, this guy is just timeless. And uh, it, it sure was, uh, I'll, I'll just tell a little story on you. Um, we had a, a very intimate group of about maybe seven or eight people. And Chuck did... Uh, just a wonderful talk. Um, it it uh, it was just um, he put as much energy into that talk I think as he would have if there had been a thousand people there, and uh, it was just a great uh, great little seminar and talk. And you know I think it was like maybe two hours and it went by like it was thirty minutes. But uh, fascinating stuff and and great to hear a lot of the background and a lot of your thought processes also. So uh, well, that's that, great to hear. Thank you. Those kind words. Thanks a lot. I did enjoy that. Well, it's 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 really uh, fun to get to to uh, to listen to someone who's uh, got so much background, and, and particularly you know for somebody my age who's kind of come up with you, Chuck, and kind of been listening to you for a long, long time, and um, and maybe not knowing it, you know, uh, and to get kind of the inside scoop on an awful lot of stuff that I. I was uh, wondering about for many, many years. It was very, very fun. So, um, oh, we're going to come... It's always great to hear stuff like that because most musicians um, uh, want to imprint their personality, although we all do. But um, my generation of musicians, we... Uh, and I think I can speak for the, the basic bulk of my generation. And we were only interested in playing the music. Of course, sometimes you get paid, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get paid well, sometimes you don't. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you get paid really well. But the whole thing is just uh, being not so much incognito, but it's like a football team, I guess. You never hear about 
about the dime li- uh, the down linemen. You only hear about the quarterback and the running back and the receivers. Right. Uh, uh, almost too like the, the baseball game. You know, the catcher you get the uh, win uh, a lost credit line instead of the pitcher. Because so the, uh, the catcher calls the balls. You know, you know, he calls the pitch. And he also, too, he sits there and he knows every batter in the league. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so I think that, the, you know, uh, people like me, I'm just a side man. Of course, I'm branching out to be a, uh, uh, a band leader, which I've, you know, dibbled that on and off during my whole career. But now that I'm older, I am basically branching out to be a, a solo artist. Uh, but my generation, we sort of like did not um, mind in a way. It doesn't matter uh, if my name's not on the record. If it's a bass player or a musician, as a matter of fact, if it's any kind of fan, they know that it's me anyway. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and if they don't know it's me, it's someone who's emulating my style. That's double pleasure in that I've done something to have that style relived over and over and over. There you go. So, like, it never bothers me and the crew that I came up with, you know, uh, back in 72, I think, is when they started putting names on records so that people such as yourself would know um, who the musicians were. But it's a fact of life, and we just got to, you know, we, we got a grip, and we just dealt with it and still do. Yeah. Uh, that's the way that it is, and I'm not about to try and change anything <laughs> other than to keep on playing the, the bass as best as I possibly can. Well, uh, folks, I will, before I close off this post, I will uh, let you know, if you go out on YouTube and you type in Chuck Rainey or Chuck Rainey Bass, and that's R-A-I-N-E-Y, um, there is some fabulous stuff he's got out there just, that's just going to kind of uh, uh, pique your interest, I think, and, and uh, get you pulled into what he's doing. And uh, I am Ryan Michael Galloway. We don't need no stickingrecordcompany.com again with Chuck Rainey, uh, iconic bass player, and we'll be back for at least one more post. Thanks.